Part of the reason why myself and so many other black identified queer people struggle to be open about our sexuality is because there aren't a lot of mainstream examples of black queer people. My name is Miles Lofton. I'm a photographer and a director, and I'm an advocate for unheard and underrepresented stories. If I could describe my photography style in three words, I would say youthful, vibrant, and intimate. It's so crazy because I took this portrait when I was like 16 or 17. I grew up in Maryland. Prince George's County is one of the most affluent black communities. And so growing up, I was able to see a lot of positive examples of black excellence and black success. I think it had a huge impact on just the way that I see myself as a black person and the way that I appreciate my identity. When I was a freshman at Parsons, I decided that I wanted to do a photo and video series using images to subvert the negative imagery that's often used to dehumanize and criminalize black men. So what I was doing was creating images that were completely the opposite of what I was seeing in the media to show that that's not all that exists. I didn't expect it to go viral. I wasn't really used to speaking about my work at all. It forced me to kind of like get in my head like, okay, where are you going with your photography? Like, what do you want people to get from your images? More often than not, I felt like an outsider. That's why I'm so passionate about making sure that people feel seen because I know what it feels like to not be seen and to not feel comfortable in a space. Today, I'm speaking on a panel with some black men that work in media, um, and I'm gonna be taking portraits of them for a project I'm working on for Black History Month. How do you change the narrative, or how are you changing the narrative of what it means to be a black person, a black man specifically in your work? This was one of, the, one of the first times I felt really represented is I'm like holy, you know, six brothers I don't even know who do work like me and we haven't met yet and it took a panel to get us all here together. Like, this is the, kind of one of the first times it really felt like that for me. Right now, to be a black man in America, for me, feels very promising. I've been here since I was four and I am now a United States citizen. There's a lot of hope and promise for what I can do. So I think, you know, being black in America is telling our stories, being prideful, and spreading the, the culture and where we're from. I want to create images as a way to create representation, create realities for people whose stories haven't been told that often. This is important because there are people who have never even seen this types of stuff. Today I'm going to the RDJ shelter to speak to the director about shooting a project that focuses on LGBT refugees. In thinking about my project, I was just thinking a lot about how we can create safe spaces for black queer people and how I can emulate those safe spaces through photography. This project is trying to like expand people's view of like what black queer life is. My vision for the future is more representation, more diversity. I want to see structures changing and becoming more accommodating of people like me. What's yours?
Bilmiyorum, şu zaman çok kadar...